So today we're in this uh, abandoned house, it's like a farmhouse. Um, it was like a really spontaneous stop. We was, uh, oh, we got a friend with us today as well, Bucky. We was, um, we was, we was at St. Joseph's uh, Monastery in Wigan, just scouring it out with a drone. And we thought, you know, I drive past here all the time and stop and have a look. And it's an abandoned four bedroom house. Um, massive property, it's really well kept to be honest. But there's some really cool things outside. There's loads of barns, old cars. Got some really good photos I put on Instagram last time, uh, a few days ago I think it was. So uh, this has been abandoned for so long as well. Oh God, you scared me then. I didn't realise it went through two parts. Um, yeah, it's, it's really well kept. In fact, uh, the windows. There's one window that's just no no glass on it at all, so it's been knocked through. But it's really crazy because some of the belongings that's still left here is like. There's like uh, photos of, of people and, and you know, people getting the education and just kind of, it's kind of weird to think why, why would these just, why would these just be abandoned like that? It's strange. But yeah, massive house, um, probably Victorian house. Uh, yeah, creepy, creepy doll in the fireplace, you know, the usual stuff you get. In an abandoned house, you gotta have some creepiness, don't you? So the furniture is really nice. Got some really old furniture down here. There's no power in the place. The power's completely out. Um, all the wallpaper starting to come off now, as you can see. That's not racist. The black and white minstrel show. I bet that's worth some money now, that. I'll, uh, I'll sit that back there. For some reason we've got loads of soil in, in the fireplace as well. I don't know if, whether that's because someone's had a fire. Look at this old... It still works. Where's the creep? He's, he's just a, such a creep. I mean, who who just goes and films the spiders? Gets more excited about seeing spiders. All right, let's venture upstairs. There's nothing upstairs. See, this wouldn't take much to get redone, would it? No. Look at dresses. Yeah, that's creepy. Oh. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. What the hell? Now that's creepy. I'm not going to ask. What is that? Just imagine walking in and seeing just some old lady dressed in that, like a funeral dress. There's fireplaces everywhere. Old people do not trust banks. They do not trust banks, so they hide the money in floors and cubby holes and and uh, there's an attic bucky. <laughs> Another fireplace. Yeah. The Maybe the house wasn't safe, the house is like cracking. Oh, there's, there's your fireplace. And an old bed. With another fireplace. Another fireplace, what? What's that? I'm doing that one. Are you going in the attic? 
Got ladders. Pop my head up and have a look. Yeah, I'll use this torch. There's not on this side though. The hammer. So what are you thinking, Wes? Are you enjoying this explore? Oh yeah, definitely. Old yes. fireplace bit. Oh. I'd like to live here actually. Yeah, it'd be nice. Carpet, samples. As I, heard, I just heard Wes say, the house is pretty bare, I must admit. But uh, it's outside, it's going to be fun to look at. Because mm. uh, there's so much stuff inside these barns. There's uh, engines. There's engines, cars, um, lawnmowers, strimmers, there's everything you can think of. Bits of engines lying about everywhere. Let's go, Wes. You ready? I'm going to try and scare that out, Wes. Just in case. Uh... Wes! That's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. I go for. You got there, you? I was definitely a car junkie because he's got a clutch here as well. Right, we're at the house now. As you can see, now we're heading into the uh, barn area. Uh, there's a lot of um, evidence to show that it was a farm, but also I'm guessing the guy was a mad mechanic because there's so many bits of engines and parts of cars lying around. And you can see uh, there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of it's been knocked down, there's a tree falling down on there. Into another barn. This one doesn't look too bad, like, the, it doesn't look that old, really. But this guy was a serious hoarder. Honestly, this place is amazing. Honestly, it's just crazy, look at state of that. Trees falling down and just obliterated all that. Just smashed the smashed the hell out of the lot. Yeah. So cool. Damage, Look, there's, there's so much stuff. It's just just one after the other. We didn't even see most of it last time. Where were the cars? The cars are back there. We'll, we'll go and have a look at them. See, we didn't come down here and have a look at over here. What's down there, Wes? Can you look at this? <laughs> Look at this shed here. It's natural camouflage. It has a natural camouflage just grown over it. Nature has taken over properly. Oh, what they are. Oh, maybe he's trying building. Try building his own Stonehenge. And by the way, we are going Stonehenge in a, in a couple of weeks' time. So definitely make sure you check in for that video. That's going to be cool. A bit of a road trip. Looking forward to it. Yeah. And then, um, I think in about four weeks time, three or four weeks time, we're going to Wales, we're doing a, a road trip to Wales for a couple of days, we're going to go and visit all the abandoned castles, um, Denby Asylum again, because we never filmed that last time we went, and uh, the big uh, abandoned boat with all the game arcades on it and stuff, so that's going to be cool. Look at this, it's an old trailer, crazy that, isn't it? That is cool as fuck. There's so much stuff in here. Yeah, of course it'll run. This thing will run forever. I'd love to take this home. Like that. There's another one back there. There's one there. Another one there. Look at the stair of it. 
Man, look at the look at the moss that's grown. Holy really shit, that. Going to pieces. Uh, mm. Don't lie, isn't no no engine. Oh. Engine's gone. <laughs> look at the wheels. The wheels have actually sunk into the ground. That is crazy. What? This is an old Foxhall uh, Viva. It's just pretty much just disintegrating. Sinking into the ground, folding in on itself. Nice leather interior. Yeah, look, it's just all crumbling. You know, you push on it and it's so weak. You can see how far it's sunk into the ground as well. All the time that it's just been sat in here. They look quick. Yeah. They look pretty smart back in the days. Quite a nice car. You can see on the reg, it was first registered in 1972 and it's been sat here since 86. Uh, it's rotten away. What a shame. See, we're not even halfway through this place and it's just crazy. It's just out of thorns. There's just, um, it's just barn after barn. There's just so many barns. So much stuff. What's that noise? So much stuff about. We've got a caravan. We have a caravan. Oh, where's this photograph in an old car? Old flamethrower or something. This pen in here is just filled with boxes and boxes of magazines, papers. I mean, some of them date back to the, let me get this one. Date back to 96. Yeah, yeah this one. 91. Try some magazines. 19, 1977. Let me focus it in. Nineteen seventy-seven. That's best thing about barns. You you don't know what you'll find in barns in a, abandoned places like this, for instance. A caravan, just inside a barn. And then on the other side of this caravan, wait a minute, I'll show you in a sec. This this here is uh, just totally decayed and it's basically come part of the land now. We don't know what car it is though. But look at it. I mean, this car here is worse than that other one. It's sunk that far in, chairs have gone right up. Mm, nearly fell. You know, I, I spent a few hours online having a look, like trying to find what badge it was. 
Uh, let's have a look around this. So this thing has been sat here since time began. Morris Minor? Oh, look at the state. <laughs> the tree's actually grown on it. It's flat. Let's, uh, let's get a, a view of what <laughs> Wes is viewing. <laughs> I was getting a view of your view. Looks like an electronic turbo, it's some kind of heater. Yeah, heater. It just dropped off that there then when I put it. There's no name on the engine either. No inlet on it. Alright, it's been stripped on it. Look at the state of it, it's just been eaten away. Nature's literally just taken it over. We originally thought it was over, didn't we? Yeah. But when you look at it, it it's different to the rover. I've had a look at the rover.